Hey guys, this is Evil Star bringing you another video of tunes for competitive leagues that you can use. We're starting out with a Mini Cooper. Now, I'm going to pull over to the side of the road at the very beginning. I had a really last fast lap last race, so this is how I'm going to prove that this is a good tune. Uh, the tune is going to be up on screen there for you. I found this on the leaderboard, so this isn't something that me and my brother concocted, but uh, definitely a good tune. So we're headed up to the first sweeping turn and everybody has decided that they don't understand how to drive straight because for the most part that turn is pretty straight. Here is the first hairpin that you'll break for. This is where a lot of the wrecks happen during the collision races. As you can see a lot of people are ghosted out, a lot of people cutting corners, you know, just trying to do their best to regain position. That guy did not enjoy the superior handling that I had on him. Uh, but we're going to continue through the fast turns here. That was a little over the line there. I like to break early here. A lot of people take too much speed into the turn. And I don't think it's the best way to negotiate such a maneuver. Now here, here's the, the second hairpin of the race. This, you will get punted off a lot if you go through too slow. Uh, I've had several races with the Mini Cooper where I was just trying to take the racing line or geometric line, whichever you want to call it. Actually, those are two different things, but uh, yeah, if you take any line that you choose, there's a driver behind you that doesn't like it or wants to use it as a break, so just be ready for that. I, I noticed it happened to me a lot this morning. And here, I think is the more difficult part of the track, maintaining speed through this sweeping left without um, oversteering and understeering too much in any direction. Now this pink car seems like I'm going to be able to get away from him, so I'm not really worried about him too much. Catching that guy should be fairly simple. For some reason or another, in this league, which is the grassroots, uh, no one knows what to do on this turn. They brake too hard, they turn, they let off the accelerator. Whatever they're doing is causing too much understeer or oversteer. More than not, it's the understeer that drags you off the track here. Uh, so I'm going to do my braking zone here. That guy's taking that turn fairly well, so I'm just going to try to maintain pace with him. He made a mistake, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Uh, try to get on the accelerator too early, and you might pull yourself off the track, but I got lucky there. Going through the sweepers, or not the sweepers, the fast turns again. Uh, again, braking early here for that quick exit. And I'm catching up to the blue car. I'm reeling him in. And I'm thinking he's probably going to make a mistake here. I'm still just taking this as slow as I normally would. Maybe a little too slow for here just to avoid any overshooting or anyone who might have had a wreck there. I don't want to run into them. Going through the chicane quite nicely. Now, I picked up second here. I kind of regretted it. Probably should have stayed in third. I really didn't lose that much speed through that turn. Um, but again, I am definitely catching up to the leaders here. So here I recommend trying not to downshift too much during the turn. If you miss your downshift after the braking, just kind of stay in whatever gear that you may have been in. And it seems like it's easier on the exit. Now here, on this part, I'm going to try to make a pass on him. We're side by side. And on this turn coming up, the sweeper, he does slow down fairly more than I thought. Uh, I kind of ride the, the bumper, as you can see here, or the rumble strip, whichever you would prefer. And I know that we're going to have some issues going into this braking zone. So I'm just going to be real just passive. In it. And he's just going to go right through on the inside line too deep. Going to take another position. Now I have about half of the track to make this pass. And I'm hoping that I can manage it without ruining either of our races. So I'm just kind of feeling him out as far as what he's doing wrong, what's doing right. I do that early braking again. That guy takes too much speed into the turn, or does it get on the accelerator too fast enough? I'm not sure which one happened, uh, but I was able to take that position with fairly no issues. Now here, I might have slowed down just a little bit much, so I just kind of like let my car just kind of glide out into the turn. Probably took it a little too slow. He was nice enough not to hit me, or maybe I was just going just that much faster than him. I don't know. Gonna take an easy way through the chicane, get onto second. Carried a lot of speed into that chicane, so made up for it by just staying off the accelerator um, and yeah I'm just gonna take this final sweeper and take the win so that was from from last 
all the way to first in three laps on Suzuka. So this tune is very competitive. Uh, it's actually the tune that I use to get to Elite, believe it or not. So I highly recommend it. Now we're just flying towards the finish and we get the first. And we'll have a little bit of time if you can see the time on there. I am first. I had the dirty lap though. I think it says 106. It's kind of hard to read on this viewer that I'm watching. Uh, but yeah, definitely a fast lap around Suzuka. And the next vehicle we'll be using is the Renault Clio 2010, I believe. And it is tuned by my brother Teapot. Now this race is very interesting. Uh, the last lap, I got wrecked. So I just ended up having last in the grid. And here we're coming up. And I'm actually looking over at my encoder when this happens. I was not ready for him to rejoin the track. And I'm not sure why he wasn't ghosted. Uh, but it's going to set up for an interesting precedence for the rest of the race. Here, on this turn, for some reason everyone overshoots it. Most of these cars in this league are all front wheel drive. So I don't understand why people just floor it around corners when they know it's going to oversteer them. Or understeer. My bad. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so we're coming through here. And I like to take this fairly slower than the car in front of you just because you can pass them on this straight this sweeping turn practically um, so there's no reason to fight through that s section when if you know you're faster than them just take them here now if you have a handling car and their high speed car maybe you're not able to catch them but definitely at this chicane you're gonna have the advantage coming across the line so i turn in a little bit maybe early maybe late either way car decides to jump the curb, hit me into another car who's rejoining not the greatest lines from anyone right now. Get shoved. He lets me know that I've made a mistake in some way, which I feel like he caused me to have that mistake, but, you know, we're gonna just continue. Now, he has so much more speed than me, I'm just gonna let him take the turn the way he wants to take it. And apparently, he wants to drive off the track for whatever reason. The inside line is not the line to smash the accelerator on. We're going through the next chicane uphill, kind of went over the rumble strips a little much. Now this car is fairly good at just slamming the limiter when you don't want to shift up. It, it doesn't lose too much speed if you don't want to shift up during like a turn. Um, but here we are catching up with the rest of the race pack. Now there's a guy ghosted out, he's actually upside down, and then he just quits. So probably the best especially if you're that totaled I don't know if maybe he doesn't know he can flip the car by using the accelerator or if there's a point because this is simulation racing guys that car's probably real broke because I know last race I just got put into the smallest wall and I was done so across the line someone made that same mistake again using the understeer to their disadvantage putting themselves into the tire wall taking this turn just as I was last time maybe a little slower just kind of cautious of the the gold car in front of me I think that's the Hyundai I'm not sure not sure why he's using it either the Hyundai is garbage it is the cheapest car of this class not that even with just the basic tune it can't even beat computers like I was racing I think it was unbeatable and I couldn't catch up to anybody in it it was horrid so maybe that guy has a super tune that I'm not aware of, but based off of me catching him up, probably not the greatest. So we got two laps to go, currently in fifth. Gonna take the chicane fairly cautious just because I'm not sure where this guy's gonna go with his car. He just decides to take the sharpest turn, loses all his speed on the grass, and I'm out in front and away. Taking the turn through the starting line again now there's a curb on the right side of the track if your tires go airborne I highly suggest letting off the accelerator because the last thing you want is a wheel landing on the track just grasping for grip and if it gets it it's just gonna take you right off the track much like that guy uh, I don't know what he was doing Maybe he didn't notice the tire wall, but ultimately I threaded the needle between his mistake and that tire wall. 
There's a lot of sweepers on this track, so if you don't enjoy dealing with understeer, you better try to find a real-wheel drive car. But unfortunately in this league, like I said before, there isn't many. I don't even think there is any. Here we are coming up to the braking zone right before the chicane. I take this fairly aggressive, probably a little too aggressive going over the, the limits of the track, but that's all right because I'm just trying to catch that guy in front of me. And I'm sure he has just as dirty as the lap that I have. Yeah, right there is the best time to to let off a little. So yeah, the, the race pretty much is pretty similar for this lap. I don't really catch up to him. I think I might get on his bumper at one point, but nothing too convincing to actually make a pass, especially if the pass is gonna ruin either of your races. If you want to ruin someone else's game, go for it. But just be ready for the next race or the next race after that one to just be a battle. Because once you start some type of aggression between two drivers, it very seldomly ends until either the end of the day or the end of the race period. I know there's a lot of different drivers I've been driving with recently, especially on the way up to Elite, that just, they don't deserve to play this game. I'm just gonna be honest with you. He, he uses you to turn, they use you as a braking, I mean, they just use your car as almost their own tool. And it's ridiculous because it really ruins that person's race that you're slamming into. But regardless, I take third. I'm really convinced that this tune is competitive, at least in the lower leagues, be it the grassroots or the enthusiasts. Uh, again, that was tuned by my brother Teapot. And I'll have more information for both the tunes in the description. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any interest in checking me out on my Twitch, just follow me. And you can also check out my last tuning video. I have it up on the screen. All my social media is on the left. Thank you guys so much. This has been Evil Star, the competitive nerd, and keep your eye on the apex.